What's going on YouTube? Bruce Nosabo here and I'm going to tell you about how to fix the arching back problem while doing push-ups. I think it's very important when it comes to proper form and calisthenics so let's get it started. So guys, I'm shirtless today because I want you to clearly see what I'm talking about when it comes to arching back. So, take a close attention to my back. A lot of people are doing push-ups like this or, or like this. And the ridiculous part about it is that they think they do full range of motion. But I don't blame them because they think they touch the ground with their body, so it's like full range of motion, but it's not, I don't believe so. So, what is wrong? They arch their lower back, which basically hurts a lot with, with age you're gonna feel it. You know, if you are 15 years old, 16 years old, and you do this, and you don't care, when you hit 40 years old, you're gonna feel it. So let's start with the proper form from the very beginning, okay? So, it hurts and it harms our range of motion. It makes it bad, bad, really. So, now, I'm going to briefly explain to you how to fix it and how to mm, work on your body posture when it comes to push-ups, okay? Go. Okay, so a lot of people start doing push-ups on the floor right away, even when they are not ready to do so, okay? So, what I'm trying to tell you is to start from the incline push-up, which is going to make it easier for you to get into the proper position of your body in order to complete it right, okay? So, as you can see, I have four different stages, in other words, stations, and each one is lower than the previous one, okay? So, we always start from the high, from the high one, and it's going to be easier for me, as I said, to get into the proper position. So, I push less weight of my body. Instead of pushing almost 80% of my body from the ground, I'm pushing like 50 here, okay? So for the beginner, it's going to be better here, okay? And as you can see, then when I get stronger here, I pass to this one, then I pass to this one, not in one training though. You know what I mean? I just show you the way how the how I decrease the level of the of the height. Okay? Then here and of course on the ground. Okay? So let's say when I hit 20 reps here. I can pass to the lower one, okay? And make sure that you have someone to tell you how your form looks like, that you have your body straight, not, not like this, okay? Or you can have a camera recording you so you can check it later, all right? So that was the first tip, let's move on. For the next tip, we would need such thing, which is called step. And on this step, we need to get into the push-up position and come down 
and I need you to touch this step with your chest, belly, and knees at the same time. Up, down, control, chest, belly, knees at the same time. You get the point? Here, when I pay attention to those three points, there is no way I will arch my back and do the bed form. Okay? So, chest, belly, knees, at the same time, landing, at the same time, going up. Once again, chest, belly, knees, chest, belly, knees. Boom, 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 boom. If you don't have this thing in your gym or at home, there is no problem. You just do the same thing on the ground. But it's going to be harder because you will you will go down lower, okay? Chest, belly, knees. Okay. Also, when it comes to arching back and push-ups, we need to control our pelvis, okay? So the best exercise to make it work better is to hold the whole body position, which is tilted lower back, pelvis tilted, like this, not like that, like this. This is the whole body position. And how to learn the control of it is to lay down, try to touch the floor with your lower back only, lift your shoulder blades, then lift your legs and try to push, push down with your lower back all the time. If it's easy for you, just straight up your legs and hold it, okay? So the main point is to keep your lower back pushed down to the ground so I cannot fit my fingers under my lower back. This is the best position, okay? Well guys, this is it. I hope I helped you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Subscribe to this channel, thumbs up, comment, I will appreciate all the support. The more followers I have, the more I do for you guys, okay? Alright, see you in the next one.